Take a look behind me. This is my multi-camera TikTok live setup. I'm going to show you a quick look around my entire setup and how I use Obsbot Tail 2 and Tail Air cameras to create multi-camera productions for TikTok live. Now you can use this setup for TikTok shop affiliate. You can use this for podcasts. There's really just a ton of different ways that you can go live on TikTok with two or more cameras. And a lot of people don't know the secrets behind how exactly to do it. So I'm gonna share uh, a little bit about the Obsbot cameras and how they make TikTok live really accessible to everybody and easy and all the benefits that you can gain from it. Let's take a tour of my studio. A lot of TikTok users probably think that the only way to go live on TikTok is with your phone. That's absolutely not true. My setup here has two different Obsbot cameras. This is the Tail 2, and this here on my product demo table is the Tail Air. And as you can see, I've got two different cameras here. They're run into my streaming computer through OBS Studio. Now, I've linked those together with my stream deck to make it very easy to have preset cameras. So right now you're looking at my product table, but if I hit my on camera button, boom, there I am. I pop up here on the tail two. So what's really great about the Obsbot tail two is that the lens actually rotates so that you can go between horizontal and vertical. Natively, it will go both ways. And the tail two in combination with this tail air mounted sideways means that I can very easily punch between these two cameras live on air. Now, a lot of folks are probably asking, okay, but how do I get that into TikTok? Okay, really easy. So this is called Live Center. Now, not all creators have access to Live Center, but most do. It's a downloadable program from TikTok and it allows you to take a virtual camera from OBS into TikTok Live. And this is where you actually go live right here. This is where the fun starts, guys. So you can see my product table here. I have a couple of different products set up that I'm going to go live with. I've got the Tiny 2 camera is right there. An awesome little pop socket that I got while I visited uh, Obsbot over at Infocom in Orlando. But let me do this. Um, I've got multiple products here. So I'm using the Obsbot Center, which is the PTZ controller for the Obsbot cameras. Now watch, if I wanna go to product number two, it's super easy. I just hit product number two, bam it switches right over to product number two. I can hit wide and it goes and it shows both products at the same time. Um, I have, like I said, linked this to my stream deck. So if I wanna go on camera, it's just the push of a button and I can go on camera. But look at this, even better, I can hit another button and now I can go split screen. So the top here is the tail two, the bottom is the tail air. I can talk about products. I can have two people talking on the camera at the same time. This camera is really amazing. Um, it lets you do so many things and in conjunction with the two, um, I can control just about everything. Now, as far as audio is concerned, you can add in podcast microphones if you want. I'm actually using the Rode uh, Pro 2 here, but it's just as easy to take a USB microphone plug that USB microphone into your computer and bring those sources up here on Live Center. Now, I have actually also used the TikTok seller dashboard to go live. You can go live through there as well if you don't meet the requirements for the Live Center. This setup is really fantastic. It lets you control just about everything that you would want to control. Let me go back to the product table. Let me bring up product number one. Boom, it's gonna go right into product number one. And like you see there, the graphics on the screen, you can trigger just about anything you want at any time. So if you are a creator, if you wanna figure out how to up your game for multi-camera on TikTok, which like I said, a lot of people feel like TikTok is only limited to a cell phone. That is not the case. And these Obsbot Tail 2 and Tail Air cameras are some of the best for going live on TikTok. So I'll tell you why. So the Obsbot um, Tail 2 here, their newest camera, has a multitude of outputs. Right now I'm outputting it via HDMI and I'm capturing that HDMI on my live stream PC which is down here below in my cart. At the same time I'm using the USB-C output here of the Tail um, 
air, and that's going right to a, um, a USB-C input. Now, obviously, I have this mounted sideways because we're doing vertical video, but you can mount it the other way um, as well. So, really, I could actually be taking in a third camera here with the uh, Tiny 2, and I could have three different angles if I had a podcast or something else that I was working on like that. Um, and obviously I can control all the image settings here and with the live tracking, which is enabled through the tail um, two and the tail air, I can track. So if I want to move around and just, uh, you know, feel free to move around this set, I can do that as well. And the automatic tracking will keep me um, in view uh, at all times. Now, Prime Day is coming up, guys. Uh, Prime Day for the OBSBOT uh, cameras, and there are some amazing savings that you can get on these cameras right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a couple of links um, below here in the description so that if you're interested um, in more about these amazing OBSBOT um, tracking enabled um, and PTZ enabled cameras and what they can do, um, please Click the links below in my description. You will save money by purchasing them through me. Now, if you do have a lot of other questions about TikTok shop and how to, um, or even just how to go live with multiple cameras um, on TikTok, please DM me, leave some comments below. I would love to share a little bit more of my setup. Obviously, this is a very, very quick demo of how you can use these cameras to, um, uh, to your advantage, um, but really there is just an endless amount um, of ways that you could do this uh, setup um, in your studio, in your church, um, in your business, um, and they are really easy to use and they're also super affordable for what they do. I hope you all enjoyed that very quick multi-camera tour of my home OBSBOT studio here in Orlando. If you do have any more questions or comments, I'd love to answer them. If you want to send me a DM or if you want to just uh, leave a comment below. Also, remember to hit that subscribe button and follow Park Pass TV here for more. We are live from the theme parks here in Orlando, but we're also including a lot of great tech advice for multi-platforms and multi-camera streaming as well. So you can follow us right here on Park Pass TV.